here's today's lesson. Today's lesson is on noble gases. So what are we looking at today? We're looking at understanding what the noble gases are and how their properties relate to their use. So before we get started, here's a little bit of retrieval practice. Again, stop the video whenever you need to be able to complete the task. So pause now, have a little go at these five questions. Okay, once you've had a little go at them, here's the answers. And this is what we're looking at today, describing the reactivity of the group zero elements, using patterns to predict properties of the group zero element, and linking information about group zero elements to their properties. Okay, so what are the group zero elements? Before we start that, what does an element mean and a compound mean? Pause the video, write a definition, please. So an element is a substance that is made up of only one type of atom, and whereas a compound is made up of more than one type of atom that's chemically bonded, chemically joined together. So where are the group zero elements? So you need a parent table, you might have one in your planner, or you can find one on the web. Where are the group zero elements? They're here. They're also known as the noble gases. Can you pause the video, find out the names of those noble gases? So the noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Okay, they're all the noble gases. They're all the group zero elements. So these are the elements that we're gonna be talking about today. So the group zero elements are called the noble gases. They're used for things like double glazing, barcodes, healing balloon. They all exist as a gas in the atmosphere mixed with other gases. They're not reactive. They only um, react very, very rarely. They're unreactive. And noble gases can grow, glow, glow brightly with a high voltage electricity, which is why neon's used in advertising signs. They have very low melting point and boiling point, which is why they're a gas at room temperature. So, Describe the reactivity of groups out zero elements. We should know they don't react. So here's some facts about helium. Can you pause the video and answer the questions at the bottom? Okay, same for neon, five questions about neon. And five questions about argon. Can you have a go at these? Pause in the video each time. Right, so little task for you, a little bit of fun. Can you spot the mistakes? Again, pause the video. Five uh, little sentences. Can you spot the mistakes? So let's try some predictions now. What do you predict the boiling point of krypton to be? Right? So you should have a little look and see krypton has got a low boiling point still, okay? But it, it is higher than helium. Uh, krypton's boiling point is approximately a hundred and sixty a hundred and fifty five degrees celsius minus a hundred and fifty five degrees celsius so what happens as we as um as we go down the group what happens to their boiling point as you go down the group their boiling points increase as they go down the, the group they have still got boiling points that are far below room temperature don't forget room temperature is about 21 degrees celsius Okay, so describe the reactivity of the group to the elements, use patterns to predict them. Now, let's have a look. What do you predict about the properties of this krypton and xenon to be like? What do you think they'd be like? Now we've looked at the other elements. So there's a worksheet attached. Have a little go at this worksheet, please. Okay, so by now you've linked information about their properties as well using the worksheet attached. So a little bit of a game at the end. Which noble gas am I? What's number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Number five? Just each time pause on it'll go. See if you can answer those questions, okay? Thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson.